From Stillwater, history was made today as the University of Tulsa women's tennis team reaches the Sweet 16, a 4-2 victory over the host Oklahoma State. And joined by Dean Orford, the head coach, what's that feel like? What's that sound like? Well, it uh, hasn't set in yet, and I feel like uh, we don't want to get too up because we've got a lot of work to go. Uh, yes, we've made history here, and like we just said to the girls, we're not done yet, and uh, we'll head down to uh, North Carolina and see what we can do. Absolutely, and of course today it was a you, you really gutted it out. What were the important aspects in your eyes? Yeah, it wasn't pretty with this wind. Uh, it was kind of an ugly wind for, for a lot of the matches, uh, but really it was just like you said, just hard, hardcore gutting it out and not making any point easy on our opponents, and uh, that's why we prevailed in the, in the long run. And of course the doubles point, always yeah. important, isn't it? You get that one nothing lead early. Yeah, yeah. the doubles was crucial again. Uh, number one coming through against an, uh, a team that beat us quit pretty badly last time out. So them stepping up and doing what they did was awesome. Martina Okolova, of course, had the, the winner for you, the, the final nail in the coffin, if you will, to win it. And you said yesterday, she's your diesel. She pulled you through, didn't she? Yeah, she's, uh, she's going to have a new nickname, but uh, <laughs> uh, if she keeps doing this, she's putting a lot of stress on herself. I don't think she would know what to do if she won a first set. But uh, yeah, she starts running away with in the third set she's she's in phenomenal condition no one wants to play her in this heat or in these type of conditions uh and and what a competitor you could just see her growing in confidence as the match went on and vera at five kind of sets it up for you doesn't she right 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 and she beat a player as number nine in the world in juniors so that's a vera's come a long long way to, to pull off something like that for us coach congratulations good luck in north carolina appreciate you Again, University of Tulsa going to the Sweet 16, head coach Dean Orford, and now Martina Okolova, who indeed won that final match to make it 4-2. to two. What are your thoughts about reaching the Sweet 16? <laughs> it's something incredible. Like, I don't know, I don't have any words right now. It's something crazy, it's something really, really crazy. And again, for the second straight day, you lose the first set. Where do you find that reserve, you know, that, that inner uh, strength to win a three-setter? I don't know, I just keep playing my game every t like every point, and then... I don't know. <laughs> I just keep winning in three sets. <laughs> yeah, and you and you keep balls in play. I mean, you run down a lot of balls, and sometimes that causes yeah, yeah, yeah. the opponent to make a mistake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's true. <laughs> that's my plan of my game. And you're up 5-0 in the third set. Are you nervous at that point? Because you you know you have a little cushion, but you never know. Oh yeah, I was really nervous because I was like, yeah, I want to win. I really wanted to win this match. And Xenia was in three sets, two or three, two down. So I was kind of a little bit nervous because I never know what's going to happen in that match. And so how good is this team? And, and what do you guys think you can do in the Sweet 16? Oh, we will see. There's Every team is really good. So we will see. Hopefully we're going to do really well. Martina, great job. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Martina Okolova joining us here in Stillwater as the University of Tulsa has reached the Sweet 16 for the first time ever, a 4-2 win over Oklahoma State.